In this video, I take my eight-year-old son, my good mate, and his two boys to camp by a river in some wild country. We want to invest in our sons, to teach them lessons that will help them in life. And we believe one of the best environments to do that in is the outdoors, around a fire where they are free to explore. So we are headed to the mountains for a fishing trip to the McAllister River in the Victorian high country. All right, we've just pulled up to this spot. We've got the boys here, having fun. Look at this beautiful river. We're gonna have a bit of a boys fishing, fishing trip. We're going for trout, so beautiful fireplace right here. But I think the idea is, there's a nice little spot up here where we might camp. It'd be good if we had the four wheel drive, if we get right up here, but um, that's all right. We'll just carry in some stuff. It's not that far from the car. But have a look at this for a campground. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Well, at least we're doing a hiking camp. <laughs> kind of a hiking camp. Here, here you go. It's gonna float away. Or put it, put it in there, make a little... Most important part of the trip is to get the uh, esky nice and cool. We didn't bring ice. So this is the Alton Goods um, camp chair that they sent out to me, which is perfect for these little trips. We just want to sit back and be a bit more relaxed. And there you have it. Well, it was meant to be cold, miserable and rainy today, but it's warm. So I'm going in there. They're setting their tent up. What do you reckon, Ethan? Should, no, do you reckon we can set our tent up faster than them? Probably. Let's do it. I think we should move it closer there. Oh, that's a good spot right there. Bring it back a bit. Okay. 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 Oh, goods, Matt. With the need gear quilt. So camp's all set up. We've just had a, a swim. Probably just store some firewood, and then it's time to uh, get into what we came here for, which is going for a trout fish. Now, we're in, uh, right now we're in autumn. So the trout start slowing down around this time, and obviously a lot of the pools have been fished out as well over the summer. But you know, if we're lucky, we might still get some trout. Um, we'll have we'll, we'll do some spinners, some lures, and also get a worm on a float and a hook, and that probably will do the trick. But um, I mean, it'd be nice to cook up some trout on the fire tonight. But if not, we've got venison steaks and sausages. But uh, yeah, we really want to get some fish for this trip. But it's just a gorgeous place. This is one of my favourite areas in uh, in the whole of Victoria and. I've never camped in this spot here. I've always wanted to, right on the river. It's, uh, you can get in on a four wheel drive, but um, we had to walk in a little bit. Not, not a big walk, but it's just like gorges and rivers and, oh mate. And it's just so good to get the young boys out here. All rigged up, time to walk up this river and have a cast. Perfect little spot, isn't it? See if I can get right in that. Doesn't cast far. Sound the issue. So I'm going to change over to a little worm tail grub. Be 
This is beautiful just here. What a magical spot. Look at it. Well, not much luck. It's kind of what I was expecting anyway. At this time of the day, this late in the season, trying to catch them on lures. I'm hoping we'll have luck with a little a worm with live bait and just set it up near the camp. But it's a beautiful little, look at this spot. The boys are having fun on the other side of the river. It's just gorgeous. I'm gonna set up a worm on a hook. All right, I'm just crossing here with the wormy worm, whoa! Don't go in the water! Whoa! Almost went in. This is uh, probably not the best place to cross. It's demonstrated by my Falling over. It's really slippery. Right there. I was recently listening to a podcast where it was stated that childhood exposure to green spaces could actually predict mental health later in life, with people who had more exposure to nature reported better mental health than those who had not. So many young people are just not exposed to wild places in this day and age, yet generations ago this was just the norm. It's been a rite of passage for many boys and young men to test themselves in the wild for centuries. There is something about this good earth good that God made that brings out character development in a young man. And so we set out to let our boys run wild out in the natural world, camp by this river, while trying to shape and teach them to invest in that long and often painful, but very rewarding journey of transitioning from boy to man that nature so often gets to be the best classroom space to do that in. Since we don't have fish to cook, we've got bacon and venison, the next best thing. This is a nutritious meal, this is how you feed your kids out in the bush. Bacon, venison, some tomato sauce. A bit of bread. Venomous. Ven venison is deer meat. <laughs> Get into it.
Now, what happens when you grow up? Big strong men. They become big strong men. I reckon you become big strong men. It says, be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong, let all that you do be done in love. So, what are some of the things love. you saw in there? Love. Do things in love. What was that, Ethan? Careful. Yeah, watching. be careful, be watchful. Watching. That's good. Courageous. Courageous. We're standing firm. Yep. Even Luke, <clears throat> when I say that was freezing, yeah. you have to stop it. Alright, go in. Go on. Show us what you made of, boys. For a packet of Tic Tacs. <laughs> <laughs> they have been promised a packet of Tic Tacs each. Right in there, boys. Go on. First one, in. First one in, first one out. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. <laughs> He's out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, all right, let's go get the fire roaring. Oh, yeah. Get on that pit. That's nice and warm, that is. But I need, I need a piece. Oh, go. Nice. There you go. You can Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go get more. Go Ethan, put the fire out. All of it at once. I reckon one more each to do it. Alright, so we've packed up camp and we've just come to another little river, which is a little bit quieter and see if we can catch some trout with the lure. I'm not hopeful, but they're just not on the bite. They haven't been on the bite this trip. I feel like it's a bit late in the season. Everything's a little bit quiet, but um, yeah, well, look, we'll just walk along this river and see what we can see if we can get anything. Well that's it for this trip and this video. Unsuccessful fishing trip, but great to get the boys out. They absolutely loved it and just be here in one of my favorite places in the world, the Victorian high country. You know what I reckon would work really well in this creek? Little nymphs. We're gonna wash this because it's got really, really shiny stuff inside it.